Motor Week is made possible by Tire Rack. Someone who knows how to read most cars like a book is Pat Goss. It's time to check in with him as he nears the halfway point in assembling our Maxton component car. Pat? John, since last time, we've done a lot to our Maxton roller skate component car. We've prepared for engine installation by bolting on the radiator and the oil cooler. That may seem like doing things in reverse order, but these parts sit so far forward of the engine that they don't interfere with any other assembly. These bits are also from a Mazda RX-7, and everything on the frame is fabricated and drilled to accept the radiator and the oil cooler. We talked last time about tools that you'll need. Here's one you'll have to rent if you don't have one sitting around. That's an engine hoist. Now people have asked us if engines other than a Mazda rotary can be used in the Maxton. In theory, yes, but the chassis would have to be modified and the rotary fits in so well we don't know why you would want to use anything else. The mounts and attachments require no modification, just gentle persuasion and some perseverance. And you'll need friends for this. Can I sail shift and provide you with it? It needs to come up. up. Got it. Okay, let's just turn it around. Hey, I got it twice. Alright. Have I got the fingers? Yeah, I would. Have I got the fingers? <laughs> okay, it's in right. Yeah. Right. This next? Yep. Yeah. Alright, that's flat. Would you go ahead and start right. those cuties? Okay. I'll catch this little one here. Alright, the boot's on. They're the okay. dust boot. Final touch. As we can see, we have our engine and transmission installed now. And we're moving right along with it. How's it coming, fellas? Are we getting things pretty well buttoned up here? Oh, yeah, it's getting together. Good. Hooking up the uh, oil cooler now. Got the gear change, put it back in. Tighten this end on this end, we'll have this all finished. After the engine's in, all sorts of things can be bolted on. The cooling system has to be put together. We're impressed with the way the components are fabricated, but we found the instruction manual made about as much sense as a metric adjustable wrench. We had the first draft of the manual, and were assured the later version is much more complete. That lines up all right, that does that better. But we've got the hose. The exhaust header can also oh, go on at this point. The flange cool. comes from a company called Racing Beat, which makes Mazda performance Short parts. The header rabbit. comes from Maxton. Yeah, if you choose yeah, a late a model rotary for your Maxton, yeah, yeah. local Remember laws may require this. you to meet emission standards for the year in which the engine was manufactured. That means you may have to use stock exhaust emission equipment. We're told there's enough room under the hood to fit a catalytic converter. At this stage in construction, much of the work is simple, follow the instructions, and bolt it on. There are a lot of situations when you'll need to drill holes, but there's no room for a conventional drill. The solution is something called an angle drill. Invest in one and life will be a lot easier. We're moving right along with the assembly of our Maxton roller skate. And I have to tell you that I am impressed with this automobile. There are many things about it that are unique. First off, the racing type tubular space frame. Highly unusual. The way the suspension components and everything are executed, they fit precisely and they're very well done. All of the accessories with the car, nearly everything here is of racing quality. Now this makes for an unusual package, far better than the typical kit car. Now we're about out of time. So if you have any kind of a question about the Maxton roller skate or any other car, how about writing to me? The address is Motor Week, Owings Mills, Maryland, 21117. That's Motor Week, Owings Mills, Maryland, 21117.